Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are currently attacking these guys. Now, there's this going on, and we do want them to win that ultimately, but we want to take over everything over here, and we have lots of money to do it with. So let's just go ahead and raise up enough troops. How many do they have? Oh, they have 5,000? Okay, so we don't actually need many more than this at all. This is probably good enough. Let's just head on in over here. An enemy did just join the war. That brings them up to 6,800. No big deal. We also just joined the High Medieval Era, which is absolutely wonderful. Now, hereditary rule will be done in about two years, and we'll see what gets exposed to an innovation after that. That is, of course, random. We're currently working on household soldiers, and we're also going to grab horseshoes before we move into the High Medieval Era. Now, if hereditary rule focuses horseshoes, great. That is ideal, and then we'll start working in the High Medieval Era, probably on trebuchets and men-at-arms, because I feel like we're good enough on our finances for right now. So it'll probably be something along those lines. That's the plan there. But we're going to come on in over here and begin our first siege in this war. Excellent. These sieges are, of course, falling very quickly. Or not tremendously quickly like they were at the end of the last game, but they're quite quick. Ignore this war. We don't care. We don't care about this war. <laughs> It is completely irrelevant to us. So, we're going to grab this, and we're just going to continue sieging our way up north for right now. Ultimately, I think that's our plan for winning this war, is we're just going to siege. That was worth 13%. Yeah, I like it. So, we're just going to continue moving up here. We can go like that, nice and quick, and make our way up. So this guy's at plus 60. That's fantastic. He's fighting that other war instead of fighting us. And even if he was fighting us, he wouldn't succeed. This is going to be a huge, huge land grab for us. Like, look at that. That's going to basically double our land size. And that does, of course, mean that we're going to have some work to do after this war. I am deliberately trying to slow down our snowball a little bit by doing things like culture and faith conversions before we expand. I'm not sure how much I'm going to keep doing that, but I definitely wanted to slow it down in the early game a little bit. Because it is very, very easy to snowball out of control in Crusader Kings 3. But you can also build in a more controlled fashion, and I wanted to do that for this particular series. So in we go. We are now at 27%. And honestly, this is going to go very quickly if we're unopposed. Very, very quickly indeed. Three months left on that siege. We can demand payment from this guy. I don't care about it. We can declare war on somebody over here. I kind of don't care about that either. Like, I think this is fine for right now. I'm completely comfortable with, with what's happening. This guy is starting to lose his war, his other war. We're hoping that we finish our war before that one finishes, or that he wins. One or the other. Both of those would be good. I'm not going to assault these. I don't want to take the losses. Okay. I see these guys over here. So what we're going to do about that is we are going to split off our mangonels, and enough troops that they're unlikely to just come running after this. The rest of our troops, they're going to come down here and see if we can fight this army, which I believe is... Oh, that's actually his army. Who is leading this? He is personally leading it. Okay. Sounds good to me. These guys are going to continue their siege. And down we go. What's his plan? Is he just going to run up the coast? No. He's trying to go back now. Oh. Now he's running up the coast. Okay. We need to stay on the inside track here in case he tries to loop around and attack these guys. He just went up into the fog. Okay. We're going to pull these guys over to this castle to be closer to our existing army. And let's see what Fog of War reveals here. Not a whole lot. Okay, we're going to continue to head north here. Yeah, we're going to continue to head north. 
He's not on this coast. Okay, so he went up into here. Sure. He doesn't actually want to fight us. In that case, we're going to multi-siege. It's not going to be very quick, of course. We're going to slow siege over here, but it should be fine. Love these guys up here as a scout, and we can always pull back to here if we need to. So, actually, that's not that much slower. Six months versus four months. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We don't care about this war. That war is over, but that's completely fine. Okay, these guys are taking heavy attrition right now. We probably want to let them resupply after they're done with this siege. Yeah. They have a lack of supplies. So we'll definitely resupply after this siege. I believe we can resupply in occupied territory, can't we? I think so. Diplomacy, lifestyle, experience, huh? Sure, we'll take it. Eh, we failed, but that's fine. And yeah, losing that war was expected and completely irrelevant to us. Excellent. Want to check in down here, make sure they're not sieging any of our territory down here. They're not. Are they attacking up here? They are not. Fantastic. So let's check to see if we get resupplied in occupied territory. Anything? Maybe. We're below the supply limit. Yes, we did get a resupply there. Great. So we're going to move these guys up over to here. We're going to finish up this siege and let these guys resupply as well for a couple of months. We did complete farmsteads. I don't necessarily care. We'll go through all that again a little bit later on. So these guys are now up to 55 out of 100. And we're going to take them up over here. Now this is slightly dangerous. We're letting these guys resupply, but they're a little bit away here. This county is set up in such a way that we can't be right next to this army. So we'll see how this ends up going. We're currently at plus 82%. Which is slightly bonkers. No eyes on them. Fascinating. This is one of those situations where I think that we need to be capped at 99% until we've won a major battle, like in Europa. I don't believe that I should be allowed to do this, to be clear. We haven't fought him at all. We've just occupied a little territory, and he's going to be completely subjugated. It doesn't make a ton of sense. That is how the game works. But I don't have to like it. <laughs> so we're going to move on in over here. 20 days left on this castle. And I believe this may end the war. It'll be close. We'll see. 96. Sounds good. We're going to come in and attack over here. We've got plenty of supplies for this last siege, so that is fine. He never really had a chance in this war, but I, I don't feel like I should be able to win a war like this, a subjugation war, with only occupation. Granted, he's going to become our vassal, and that's going to be potentially problematic. We are almost certainly going to want to do something about that. Like, for example, break this up in some way. We don't really want him to be a powerful vassal. Necessarily. I mean, if we look at this, what is his title level? He's a kingdom tier realm. So we're actually going to get the king title here, aren't we? We already have a kingdom title. I don't know that that's a good thing, necessarily. We may want to destroy the kingdom title. We already have a king level title. And we don't have an empire level title. What would this look like for the de jure empire? Ooh, I don't know about that. It's going to be a lot of sections of that empire. We'll find out. So, we get the kingdom. We actually got two kingdoms. Okay. And all of these guys will become our vassal. Wait, is this guy going to become unlanded? No, he's going to become our vassal as well. But we get all of his vassals, so I think this is okay. We'll enforce that. Fantastic. We'll disband all of our troops. That is a huge, huge land grab. 
Next. Yeah, I accept that. Found a holy order? No thanks. Okay. We've got some organization to do here, for sure. So, let's see. Duchy level titles. Honestly, this is largely okay. So, we have currently the the three kingdom level titles, right? And all of them are probably going to go to the same person. But for right now, I want to eliminate these two. I want to destroy this title. Yes. It's going to cost a lot. I understand that. But we don't want to hold these two extra kingdom titles until such a time as we hold an empire title. I should have checked to see if we can create an empire title. Uh, no, we can't. Okay, so we'll destroy this title. Perfect. We had the prestige to pull that off. Now, let's look at this de jure empire. We need 20 more de jure counties within the empire. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Okay, so next up, we should go through here, and I want to put in a tax office here. I would also love to construct this temple. We'll do that after this tax assessor. It will definitely be a good thing to build. We're going to construct a city holding here. Okay, we're just going to go through each of these and see what we can do. Over here, we're definitely going to construct pastoral lands. We are going to construct a city holding here. And we just want to keep going through all of our new holdings here and build whatever we can. We're going to build a city here and a city here. Fantastic. We're going to build a city here. It's going to get expensive fast. And a city here. But good thing we have very, very solid cash flow. <laughs> okay, let's check to see if there's any of these that will require any additional structures. Yes, in fact, this one will. We're going to put in a tax office. Excellent. We're going to construct a city wherever we can. City here. Okay, we're out of cash. So we'll now let that tick forward a little bit. There are factions being created against us. This is not in the slightest shocking. A lot of these guys, they're going to be pretty angry with us. And in fact, we, we are on domestic affairs for our chancellor. So that is fantastic as well. We'll just keep an eye on that. We'll have to hold this together. That's not a huge deal. Independence faction. Yeah, this isn't shocking. Okay. These two, huh? Fair enough. They're very upset at us. <laughs> and that's not shocking. But so far, no one else has joined their faction, and it's not a problem just yet. I do want to check on our steward. They are currently converting, as is our priest. That's good. He is terrible at his job, but we can't change that. Okay, so we definitely want to check up through here. That all looks good. Yes, I actually do want to mass ransom everybody right now. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to mass ransom everyone. Wonderful. And that got us a reasonable chunk of gold. Not the best, but it's okay. So we're going to go through these over here. And that one's constructing. Yup. We are going to need farms and fields here. Everyone gets prosperity. We're going to tick forward. And we're going to get ourselves a little more gold. Can we extort subjects right now? It's not necessarily the best idea, but no, we can't currently. Just wanted to check on that. We can call a hunt. That's not something that I am currently interested in doing. Okay, we still need another holding built over here. And then we're going to have to go through all of this territory up here as well as... Do we have that? No, we don't. Okay. Sounds good. But hey, this is a very, very solid place to be. We are on absolute crown authority, which is a big part of the reason why these guys are upset in their spaghetti, but they will get over that. Excellent. Just need a little bit more cash here. I don't want to go to speed four right now. I think that that would be a mistake. But there's a lot of investment that we need to do up through here. And so that is great. 
Ah, hello, we can do both of those. And I will pass on both of those. We can transfer this guy over, and he is presumably de jure. And I'm going to do that for the opinion. Yes, we get stress. I'm aware of this. And we'll put this guy in as our spy master. He's okay at the job. He's a better marshal. But I'll put him in there, and we should probably work on swaying him, since he is our spy master. Wonderful. We can demand payment from this guy as well, and we're going to. I want that cash. I want to get these upgrades rolling. We need 20 more gold for our city here. Ransom. Yes, that's 20 gold. Now we need 40 gold. Okay. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> that's definitely interesting. To be sure. Well, we're just waiting on our cash infusion. There we go. And everything else up here looked good to go. Other than a location like that. But we'll check in on those as things finish up. So we're going to need to look at this up here next. We'll continue ticking forward. We are going to need a tax office here. Actually, no, this is a grand temple. That's a lot of gold that I'm not willing to part with at this exact moment. So instead, we're going to build a hunter's lodge here. I will definitely build that grand temple. There's no doubt about that. That was, I believe, calling the hunt again. No concerns there. Ooh, that's a brand new... Brand new... Uh, ooh... That's nice. That's brand new over there. But we definitely want to get hunting grounds in over here. Actually, farms and fields is what we want. So we're going to construct that just as soon as we can. We did finish a promote culture task. We definitely, definitely need to continue working on that. So we're going to work on promoting our culture. Is that extort subjects? Nope, that is still call hunt, and I don't want to do that. In fact, I'm going to no longer be notifying when these decisions are available. Okay. We don't care about those for right now. So that is excellent. The lure of language. Ah, why bother? Sinhala is definitely superior. So we are going to construct, I think, farms and fields here. We did just discover hereditary rule, and what got exposed next? Armillary sphere. Very, very irrelevant. Okay, sounds good to me. I was hoping for something different, but that'll be fine. So we need another 30 gold here for farms and fields, and we'll get that building as soon as we can. We just want to get all of these constructing as quick as possible. We do have a new diplomacy perk available. We're going to grab Inspiring Rule. Get ourselves more prestige, I guess. This guy became our spy master. That's not super helpful. Okay, as far as this county goes, we definitely want pastoral lands here. And so we shall construct that as soon as we have the gold, which we do now. And we also want to construct a city here. That is definitely something that we want. We want to work our way through all of this. Yeah, there's some vassal infighting happening here, but honestly, that's a good thing for us right now. These vassals fighting each other? Yeah, that's helpful. We're, we'll accept that invitation. We could definitely use some friends. That would be a very, very good thing indeed. We're currently 50, and we're probably not going to be going back to war this life, is my guess. We're mostly going to be focusing on internal matters here. We gained a favor hook on that guy. We're going to ransom these prisoners. Yeah, they can't pay the full value, but that's okay. Excellent. Stress loss, and we attended their feast. Perfect. So our next target is likely to be somebody like this guy. I mean, we can seize de jure stuff from him. Ooh, we can extort our subjects, and that is absolutely an action that we will take here. 750 gold. Do it. Okay. We're not going to found a holy order. What we're going to do is we're going to construct a city with that. Wonderful. That's all good to go. Is this our territory over here? Yes, it is. And we're going to take a quick look up through here. We're going to construct a holding here. 
Military schools in Madurai. I mean, not too much we can do about that right now. We're holding off on constructions over there. Okay. So our next thing that we need to do, of course, is constructing another holding up here. This will be a city. We do have a dangerous faction. That's an independence faction, and we do need to deal with that. This guy is actually absolutely somebody that I want to deal with. Great. That'll do. That'll do the trick. Problem solved there. And now we will make sure that we are constructing over here. It'll be a city. Oh, they need a temple. Never mind. It'll be a temple. <laughs> Fantastic. We need a... Is this going to be a temple here? Yeah, this is going to need to be a temple here. And that is definitely something that we will do. We're going to have to make several passes through all of this, of course, and make sure that this is all completely good to go. But we're making a good amount of cash, and that amount of cash will continue to improve. Especially as our eh, good chancellor continues here. That guy became an adequate bargainer. I don't really care what he became, but that's fine. As soon as we can, we will construct this temple. 122 gold on that one. And then two, actually three buildings, or three holdings over here. Where's the third? Oh, across the river. Okay, yeah. That's fine. We can no longer sway that guy. And that's probably for the best. I mean, at this point, I mean, this guy's terrible at his job. We could demand conversion. He might accept, but probably not. I'm just going to work on swaying him. Not because he's great at his job. He's objectively not. Skill 26. Can we fire this guy? Yeah, we're blocked from removing him from the council. What else is he good at? Not really anything. He'd be a downgrade on everything. Let's just leave him where he's at and sway him for now. Let's build our temple over here. As soon as we have 23 more gold, I suppose. There we go. Excellent. And we've got a lot more constructions to build up over here. There's no doubt about that. We have a lot of irons in the fire at this exact moment. Oh, we missed a holding down here. <laughs> I'm not sure how I missed this one, but I mean, it was in between the rivers, I guess. So that's fine. Just as soon as we have enough, it will, of course, be a city. That'll be two month ticks, so that's okay. You'll also notice that I'm not being belligerent. Not just for financial reasons, because I want to invest in this, but also because we have some rather angry vassals at this point, and we need to hold this together. And a big part of that is a show of force. So we're going to keep our troops together for now, and we're going to do what we can to do that. We are, of course, going to be able to construct this city in one more month tick, and let's go ahead and let that happen. We are already up over 100 gold per month. We're going to be up over 200 gold per month pretty quick at this rate. And remember, we are, I mean, we are Midas touched, but, and we are greedy, but we are not currently on wealth focus, which is cutting this down by a pretty hefty amount. Okay, he's definitely endorsing us. 24.8 gold per month, but yeah, that's absolutely fine. Excellent. So we have definitely expanded our borders. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. A lot of expansion just happened, and now we need to hold it together. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to attempt to hold it together. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I'll see you all next time.